be hot and sweaty. No <laughs> the one. stress. Nothing like live. Um, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. It's a whole new appreciation for the term technical difficulties. Are we muted? No. We were muted. Are we muted now? <laughs> Hello. OMG. We are having technical difficulties today. Oi, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Star, okay? Adela, everyone for your help. Technology bit us in the ass today. I think we need to raise it up because what? I put it down with my phone. What the heck? My hair's going to be out of the picture. <sighs> I feel exhausted. Anyway, it's stressful when you have someone on and things don't go well. So I hope everybody, we're going to have a do-over. We oh really God. want you to I feel like hear all the great things about this app and support it because I, we really want to see it move forward in all its glory. It's really that cool. Guess what? I've been loving it for a long time, you I guys. think we need to send Emily an edible arrangement today. At the very least. Um, of course she wouldn't care. Of no. course she understands. But as being the host, you get mortified when yes. there's difficulties. And listen, you guys, we tried, like we said, to do it ahead of time, but there was only so much we could do. We thought we could... Anyway. The app is free... Uh, yes, Maureen, the patterns are limited, but if you have already purchased Tin Can Knits patterns on Ravelry, you can put your Ravelry name and give it permission to link, and all of those patterns will show up in your app. I have, I can't even tell you how many patterns in the app now. Yeah. Like, when you go to patterns, these are all the ones, there's a bunch that are... Those are available. Drink. Those are available. And it's nine patterns, but in all these sizes and all these yarn weights. Yeah. It's way more than that. Or 16 patterns. But when I go to at the top where it says Ravelry PDFs, I mean, this sucker is just going to keep going. Loading I have and loading so, and loading. so yeah. many. So they're all in there. If you've supported Tin Canets and bought any apps at all or bought any patterns previously, and then at the top of that, there's PDF patterns, and then there's also collections. So they collate them, like, in by book or collection or whatever. Listen, I've been in here. I have yet to find something that is not no light bulb moment. Okay. So, and here's the thing. You know, at the, there's a level of support that you can add to the fundraiser, and you get a free Strange Brew knitting class with the Tin Can Knits ladies. Guys. And that's coming... Friday or Saturday, you can still get in and have a knitting class with the ladies this weekend. So, okay, so I'm we I I wish there was shares available that I could purchase on the Tin Cans app. I because know. let me tell you, I would. And that's not because we we don't it's not I'm only not only saying this because we adore Emily and Alexa. It's because I actually we are familiar with it. Listen, before we had said hello to either of them, we were giant Tin Can Knits fans. We've done Tin Can Knits Knit Along. Like, this is way before. Just as fans of their, the way, that their whole philosophy of designing, that it should be fun and simple, and they're going to hold your hand the way through, and we're all going to have a great time knitting it. Okay, look at this. Right at the beginning of this flax sweater that I'm knitting, it's like, what option do you want? Do you want to work ribbing? first or do you want to work ribbing at the end so it's like so you whatever you click it's like i i'm not i'm not kidding you guys when we tell you it is amazing i feel like they've answered the question you know when you write a when you 
knit through a pattern and you go, well, I wish this was this way. This is your opportunity to knit things the way you want to knit them. Um, and in the pa in the app, there's their new sparkle sweater and it is available for purchase in the app. It's in two weights of yarn and 29 sizes. 29. 29. Sizes. What the heck? Oh, because it's more than one weight of yarn. Right. Yeah. So you can purchase that yeah. right in there. It's mind blowing. And that's blowing. like the first of many. You're going to be able to purchase patterns it's... and have them in there already. Okay. So, okay. So let me just, okay. So if you were to select, so you cast, okay. So if you were so, to select ribbing first, then you would cast on at the, the neck and do your ribbing and then continue. But if you're like, maybe I want to do my ribbing after you select ribbing at the end. And then it changes the pattern Instantly. so you see those instructions. Yeah. It is so much better for me to read a pattern like this. I can't wait for that option of taking a picture of your yarn and then it fills in your chart. Forget about Contrast it. Contrast color one, click, and it's going to fill that in. Contrast color two, come on. That is like, if you dreamed big as a knitter that loves to knit color work, which I do, and... That color of, that is like trying to remember the colors on there are different than the colors I'm using. Of course I've had to tink back. I don't know how much. Listen, it's genius. It's beautiful. Forget, who, who, who emails the designer? I, I couldn't, you told, you told me you did that and I was like, you did not. You did not. I did. I did. <gasps> oh, that's so funny. And if I'm honest, now that I'm working with, I mean, it's not a giant deal, but it's a giant deal. I can't believe I did that. Anyway, Emily, I'm going to send, she probably laughed. I'm going to send Alexa. Right. She's overdue. <laughs> She's overdue for that. Anyway, we are going to have a do over and look for something, another conversation on it. We're going to try and do an Instagram live and it will stay on our grid. You can watch it whenever you want. And it will be an exclusive like, thing that's just talking oh, about the app. We could have both of them. A conversation with tin can knits. They will not give us one more minute. Not a not a conversation. And I don't oh, look, blame them. Look, an email. Oh my god, something's come up. We've canceled the cruise. <laughs> They're so sweet. They are so fine. But you know what? Now, as when it, it feels like my fault, oh, no. so I'm sweating about it. Hello. <laughs> Hello, it love is. note. This is my love note. There's actually a really fun story about the love note too. But we'll did see you want to say it? No, I feel like they they should say it. Um, okay. I'm sure they have already. Okay, so knitters, I love you. So the last thing we were doing is we'll put this away, but we were talking about our breast cancer. Oh yes. Um, I don't know if I meant we did mention that there's no more after that sold it sold. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Uh, no pre-orders are going to be happening this year, but we did want to share. We did share a little bit yeah. already on that first video about how amazing the project page is for keeping life organized, projects organized. And then you just slip it in your bag and it's the most perfect, yeah, perfect thing to keep you organized. So, um, it's and they're shipping everything that's been ordered so far has shipped. Yeah. And we have all the kits ready to go to ship tomorrow. Yes. Whoever. Yeah. So. Tomorrow, Monday, let's get them out to you so you can get knitting or gifting or whatever it is you're going to do. Okay. And thank you so much for always just being so we don't supportive. Want people to miss out. I don't want them to miss it. out because they really are like when they're gone, they're gone. You know, sometimes people are like when they're gone, they're gone, but they're there really may not. be a few pins left over, but I'm not sure because we're giving pins and every prize. Yeah. Every kit gets one and I don't know we'll have any. Extra. I don't know either. I don't know. I really. You're right. Anyway, we have to wait until because yeah, I know someone else. But as far as the kit goes, there's no restock. So I hope if you love it that you get one. And okay. thank you, thank you. Um, should we get into some knitting? We've been taking up a lot of your time, and we really haven't talked much knitting. Do you want to know what I'm wearing? I do want to know. I uh, know. I want to steal what you're wearing. Is that what it is? Solera. Solare. Maybe. Solare. Something like that. Um, okay. It's funny phenomenal. story. This is a Hohi Locatelli knit. This is knit with Frankie Gray Fibers Chick Flick. DK held with a mohair. So good. It's a DK sweater. Um, yeah, well, yeah. I think they call it worsted. I think that it's knit oh, Maya. Right, never mind. Maya medium. That's why we thought taking a DK and holding it with a strand of mohair it would be appropriate. Oh, come on. It worked like a charm. Yeah. It's so Jody, I want to steal this. I should just make one. Shout out to um Sheila who knit it. Sheila knitting machine. You guys, it's a this extra deep, this peachy yolk. coral, I cannot. It's, it's so, so good. pretty. It's so you know good. what I did? My mistake 
When I was packing for Pender Island, I wanted to take mitts of hohees that I could wear. And I took out that hottest pink, I took, I had this one in and the hottest pink, but I took this out by mistake and left the other one in. It's gorgeous, but I wanted to wear this one in front of Hohe. Yeah. So this is a Hohe way to pattern. Way to miss the moment. So, you guys, I can't tell you the coziness of this this it's morning. It's so good. We have officially winter. Like, it's been below zero here. It was nice for Halloween. Solare. Solare, I'm yeah. just going to pull it up so you guys can see it. This one was just um, released yeah. at a Mayak retreat, like, in the summer, I guess. She... Oh, he designed it. Mm -hmm. um, cables and ribbing and then like this beautiful, like I love the shape of the pullover. I love the depth of the ribbing. It's just so beautiful. I like the exaggerated yoke on this. From the, the minute minute I saw it, I was like. Easy. Look at this ribbing that just kind of splits and it's just genius. And, and it then, looks like that's where the increases are. You just keep increasing your ribbing. I just, I want to cast that on. Well, so well badly um somebody asked so part of the knit for the girls bundle is the kinship hat and cowl patterns mm. and they wanted to know are they available on ravelry they are not these are also exclusive to the kit so that's the answer to that um good answer thanks jode i didn't even have to look it up i Reason knew it i knew that one I am. She I has am. So many patterns she's published since then. We we were as a group on the at the Pender Island retreat. We got to ask Olga and Hohi questions, and one of them was, "Do you know how many patterns you have, and do you remember all their names and stuff?" Hohi said three hundred, and yes, she remembers all their names exactly what they are, and I find that to be kind of miraculous. It was so good. So oh, good. he wore that one at the retreat, and it's beautiful. So good. What are you yeah. wearing? I'm wearing the love note in yeah, honor of our visit with Emily of Tin Can Knits. It is so good, um, and it's knit in the Wool Baron in her crushed rose color in the mohair and sock. I love it. I remember. I love it. Yeah. yeah. A super fun knit. People, you know, knit that ranunculus over and over and over again, and I think they do the same thing with Tin can, um, the love note. It's so cute. I this, love the uh, lace on this one. This pattern took off like nobody's business. It's crazy. It was a rep for me. It was revolutionary in the way that people felt in it. Like people in a with a bigger body and didn't necessarily feel like cropped. Maybe was for me. Who knew? I know. Who and knew I could rock a crop top? That was the thing. It flatter. It, I don't know what the flatter is the word, right word. It looks great on everybody. I do too. I feel like it suits everybody, right? And it and we got that impression when we went to Knit City and the whole of Knit City was walking around in love notes and we were like, I'm totally knitting a love note. Where's our chat? Are people there but just not chatting? I don't know. Okay, we'll continue. Keep going. I agree, Tracy. I think it's such a beautiful knit yeah. the way it... It, it falls away from your body. It's a timeless thing. I think you can knit this in any yarn, in any color, at any time, and it's not going to be, oh, that was that trend then. I think this is something you can knit so many times. Yeah. I would actually love to knit it and do like a turtlenecky kind of version. Like you can add on all kinds of things. Okay. Right? I Listen. Because this starts with a provisional cast on, so... You can do whatever you want to the neckline. You come back later. I still question and if there's a provisional cast on. It's such a good question. We should totally not ask. question, but yeah, wonder because I knit mine. Yeah. Not provisionally, like I just started with, like I kind of just worked backwards the instruction at the end where it said and it didn't work out very well. Mine did. I don't think it looks as good. I did it. This I did it. Yeah, you didn't love yours. No, I didn't. It looked weird. You look weird. No, you're it's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. I love picking people's brains and wondering, like, yeah. if it's just this, I feel like it's why just, not start from here? I think so that people can adjust their neckline. Do you like a wider neckline? Yeah. Do you like a, you know, yeah. that you have options that More way? More options. Yeah. Which is all, I feel like that's their whole philosophy. Yeah. Right? I love it. Okay. So that's what we're wearing. Sounds good. What are we knitting? What are we knitting? Okay, you guys. So, I truly. This is so cute. So this is the flax sweater, and it's off the Tin Can Knits app. It's also available on Ravelry, but get it in the app. Jo this was Jody's travel knit. She knit this the whole time we were away, mm -hmm. kept growing. It's so cute. 
Jordan's friend that she was a bridesmaid's last summer is expecting in the new year. Aww. So I thought, I've never knit a baby knit. But it turns out this is going to be for me for two reasons. I can't part with it because it's my first baby sweater. <laughs> and the second reason is we dyed this yarn and there's a tiny little orange fleck right here. Oh, so that's bugging you? It's going to bug me. You could me. duplicate stitch something cute over it. I could. Um, I'll I'm, do it for you. I'm knitting it in... in um, I'm testing out a new base. Uh, it's like balls of heaven. This is alpaca. <gasps> it's so silk nice. Silk cashmere. And 100% amazing. There's cashmere in there? Well, no yes. wonder. Yes. It Ten, is 10 percent cashmere. crazy soft. And anybody that picked up your sweater was like, oh, what is the yarn? You guys, I don't know. I've, I've said for a long time, we just don't have the space. Maybe. And it's a lot to invest in a new base for an indie dyer. And it, yes. be, it is fun to do special. But maybe you do a baby sweater kit. I don't know, right? Or like, or like just, you know, bring some in and when it's gone, it's gone till yeah. next year. Yeah. You don't have to. Yeah. I yeah. vote. I should, I should make something with it. You guys, the halo. What about that with like Surrey in a sweater? What's the weight? DK? This is DK. I feel like it's already got the Surrey when it's got... It's so the soft. Alpaca, it's, like, it's a pack of silk cashmere. Yeah, you don't need to add more awesome to already awesome. Right. This is ridiculously soft. And, you guys, it's going to be so strong. It's not going to grow. It would be so grow. good in a shawl. Or... Yes. I've had just the best time knitting this. I well, did... it's so cute. So you've added stripes. I've added stripes right... I just did a couple of rounds after I slipped for sleeves and then I just did four rounds of stripes. Love it. And the one thing I'm not doing for no reason other than I didn't feel like it is down um, down the sleeve on the flat, flat sweater is a beautiful garter bump yeah. band. But you just made the highlight the stripes. That's kind of what that. I thought I would do. If I was doing one color, I was going to do the sleeves. Yeah. But then I thought I was going to do stripes, so I, I eliminated that. Jody, it's beyond cute. It's all I wanted to And I on. totally get that you can't part with it because they're so, so cute. Right. And it is a hand wash. This is a lug, you know, like this is not a super wash yarn. That was also a bit of a light bulb moment when Tracy said, oh, so it's going to be a hand wash knit. Which is totally fine. You can, she'll, she'll be fine with but it. But for me, that's fine. But for Krista, I think I'll do a super wash. Yeah. Let's make it easy for her. Totally. So I'm going to dive. Cape Cod Blue. This is a little... The silk... It was fun to actually also dye because silk takes yarn a little oh, slower and not so as good. much. And it was so fun. Um, you could knit a cute little hat for the baby. I mean, that's not something that gets super... <gasps> so and smart. this would be incredibly soft And I could for the do baby. the stripes. Yes. This could... Done. And little booties. Sure. Totally. I yeah. love it. Well, I can't even get over yeah. how soft that is. I can't. Okay, well, I'm going to keep my eye on your shop, Jody Brown. Look what I have on my hohi bag. I got these from Amanda. Did you know Amanda Kafka? Are those animal tails? What is that? They're, pom they're, they're little, whatever you want to call them, little pom-pom trio. They're little so clips. It comes with a little clip. You can clip it on anywhere. Now, are these yarn bowler pom-poms? Yep. And... And I got these. They're and I have so it on my... cute. I don't. I won't keep two, but I got two. But I'll put one. Pom in pom it. drops. Pom pom drops. Look at. Okay. Well, so that was a really cute idea. Now it looks like my bag has a face. <laughs> it kind of and does. And ears. It kind of does. I love it. What are you knitting on? Um. Okay. I knit mostly on my sweater, but I want to show you what I cast on on the airplane, and I really didn't get very far. But again, it's so freaking soft. I just want to keep knitting. I cast on a skein of the Merino Possum yarn that Louis and Lola dye. And this is the... What color? Talk about soft. This is the charcoal color. This is their Merino Possum. It's called fingering, you guys. This is... This is... It's got so much loft and fluff. I feel like you're going to get more like sport gauge with this. And I just started a little, um, I think it's going to be a fingerless glove, some kind of mitten, but they're so I bet you could soft. knit this to an airy DK. Yeah. I feel like you, it's, Look how and there's tons of yardage. There's 
425 meters. So if you're knitting it to that bigger gauge, that's like two skeins of DK. If you can knit it to a DK gauge. It's very beautiful. I mean, and very warm. They say that um, this is 80% merino, 20% possum. So it's it's one of those luxury fibers, but I feel like because it's so fluffy, you can knit it to this bigger gauge and you're really gonna, you know, get your bang for your buck. Love it. Yeah, so I want to knit these and I sort of have a little idea of what I'm gonna do. So hopefully I get, um, this is just the first stage. I actually- Put a pin in it. When you mentioned Louie and Lola, I just wanna loop back really quick. Okay. If you're watching this at a later date and we happen to be sold out of breast cancer kits, yes. Red and Maple and Louie and Lola Yarns also have kits in their respective shops. True. Same time. Yeah. For so as long as they last. If if you go and we're sold out, then you could right. you could look there. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and it's funny because I was using my Hohi, this is the mini Santa Cruz. It is such a good bag for small projects. And if you're kind of walking and knitting or traveling and knitting, it's it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite bags. And it's really squishable. It's super squishable. It's one of my favorite bags they do. So I have the olive green one with no pom-pom thingies on it. I miss those. Okay, hang on. Hold the phone. I'm just going in. Going in for what? For, um... This is cute, Joe. This is what I'm showing next. Have you been making these? No. These are... This is a cowl... Okay, Frankie Gray Fibers will have kits in the shop tomorrow for these. We weren't organized, organized to do it today, but if Tracy's going to show you the cowl. And I had... This one is knit by Leah. Okay. Do it. It fits. It's just a little snug because it's it's uh, like a like an eye cord, but you, you put sure? it over your head first. Okay. It's a little snug. Oh, I actually love the way it fits. But once it gets on there, but because it's see, it's, there's not so much air at the top because it's an eye cord, right? And eye cords aren't. Nope, totally fits. Um. It totally is called, fits. It's, it's a Cheryl Faust pattern. It's called Same But Different. She has knit hers in a spin cycle yarn and a contrast. I just think this is so beautiful. Oh, we love mosaic knitting. Right? It's super pretty. I actually really love it in this dark and light thing going on. So this, oh, so this one is in onyx and parchment. This one, you guys. Oh, yeah. Is I love it. Cape Cod and gingerbread. Very pretty. Or is it chestnut? I can't remember. I think that's I chestnut. Think it's chestnut. Yeah. Um, Cape Cod blue and chestnut. Super good combos. I'm obsessed with bandana cowls, but um, so Melissa, who knit this, I actually asked her also if you people love a sample to see. Totally. To it's see. such a good idea. So we have a few samples knit up of some other kits that we're going to have. This one is Raspberry and Sand Dollar. This one is Barbie Girl and Lavender Haze. And then this one is Whisper and oh, yeah. Indigo. Midnight? I think it's Midnight. Um, what was I going to say? I love when you just have to combine two colors. I feel like we're yeah. all pretty good at that. I can also see this done at, in mini skeins. Yes. Part, you know what I mean? Portioning it out if you have minis. Sort of giving that spin cycle-y look, but, you know, or scrappy, like yeah. whatever you have at home. So I we, love it. It's we, really nice. I think it's And really it totally nice fits. Too. I love a cowl in the way that you slip it over your head, you guys. You're not fussing. Yeah, me too. We've talked about it a million times. So much. This is light. It's not a large item, so there's not a ton of bulk, which and I like. And it doesn't take so long to knit. This could be yes. that fun gift knit you do for your friends. Yes. Right? Um... And I think it shines also. It's beautiful in spin cycle. It does that color yeah. shift. But yeah. I think it shines in two colors. Me too. That's what brought me kind to... Kind of the geometric. I love yes. that. Yeah. You know, it would be super fun to do that lemon drop, that neon yellow with midnight or something. Like well, a real... Listen, like you can go super bright. Do you know how hard it was just to stop at three? I'm sure. But people, you know, obviously two skeins is going to do it for you. But we'll have a few kits in the shop with this. Um, fun 
ideas. Quick knit. Jody, or, they're beautiful. Aren't they fun? And they're great samples. The pattern is gorgeous. Yeah. And I do remember, this is out. Like, everybody, if yes. you love the pattern, go it's get the pattern. It's a fairly new pattern. Cheryl Faust. The weight of the um, fabric is really nice. <gasps> that double thickness of the DK. Because you're you've got floats running behind with your mosaic knitting. Yeah. Yeah, it's way better when I tried it on without my glasses. Totally. It totally fits. Oh, this is so nice. See, it's snug. It's kind of like. Well, here's the thing. Lots of things are too gapy at the neck. This is if you're that this person that worries gapy. about that. This is yeah. for sure a good one for yeah. that. Oh, Leah's here. Leah knit this. Oh. She thought, and you're right, Leah, if I would have weighed it, I probably would have known better, but she thought you could get two cowls and wow. two skeins. You probably should, right? I don't know. Anyway. But that's awesome. It. So look for kits tomorrow You could switch your colors, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Okay. I love that. So what else am I knitting? Okay. Okay. Here's something I just started because stripes are fun. I grabbed a bunch of colors. I'm I always in awe of your color sense. Like, what the heck am I thinking? No. Like, okay. oh my God, I wish I would have thought of this it. This one, this one, this one, and one more, this one. So this is all Frankie Gray Fibers DK um, from Mayflowers, Ochre, Big Apple, Chick Flick, and Denim. And... Last winter, I released the Parkview hat, and it was self-striping sock yarn and mohair. But really, it's a DK weight gauge, and I've never knit it with just DK weight yarn. So I cast on, and I'm just doing totally random width stripes, and I love it. Crazy. It's very I fun. Adore that. Isn't that fun? Yes. So this is going to be a bit thicker Excuse stripe. Me. I mean, in the pattern, it tells you... Um, how deep to knit before you start your decreases. So you can divide that up any way you want. But I think I will put out a little pattern update once I finish this one, just to let you know that, you know, for a stripey DK version, you can do this much and that's how much yarn I used and whatever. So it's been a really, it's been one of those oh. patterns a lot of people have knit. So I thought I I'm going to knit a DK one. And I'll Stripes knit. are addicting. Stripes are addicting. And um, I think I'll just knit another one for my husband, like a color. A solid. Uh, a solid color, DK. But even just with the, oh, look at your cast on. I know. And that's also coming into play up here. Red and pink play so nice. Oh, it used so to be much. like, if you wore red, you did not wear pink. Like back in the day, they didn't go together all. And I was going to do like five even width stripes. And then I just couldn't. I was just like, no, I just want to do it all weird. Like more random and sort of modern kind I kind of like that weird way. barbie sort of like so it wouldn't look like it's just dk self-striping yeah yeah kind of like weird barbie just fly your freaking doesn't flag. love weird barbie it was fun seeing all the halloween costumes totally cute tell me about halloween you had a million oh, i've never had so many kids you guys i ran out of candy you know what happened jordan had to go downstairs and get the kool-aid jammers that were in the fridge and the extra gummy candies wow we didn't have we had maybe somewhere between 55 and 60, which is not very many, but that's what we've been having for the last few years. So I was kind of expecting that. I had upwards of 160 plus. People were uh, shutting their lights off for out of candy. Yeah, and that's disappointing. I wish I knew, I wish I knew like what to expect, but you know, we were fine. We had about 20 more candy bars than we needed. I should have come here. You should have come. Jody, you should have texted me. Yeah. Because I had full-size chocolate bars. No. The next thing would have been pop. And that's not a bad thing. Kids don't get I know, pop, but it gets so heavy, they like it. heavy. It gets heavy. And then what do you get the little ones? I, the little ones are so cute. They come to the, oh, I love your costume. And I was like, we were giving out handfuls of candy and chips. And then when we ran out of that, it was full-size chocolate bars. Because my husband and I both bought Halloween candy. And I was like, mm. since when do you buy Halloween candy? Um, anyway, and I asked this little guy, so here's some candy and do you like chips? No. <laughs> here's some what more candy. Like? Oh my it's God. It's so cute. That's it was I'm... adorable. Yeah. It was adorable. I don't get majorly excited for Halloween, but then when the kids start coming, it's so cute. Natalie had 387 in two hours. How do you plan for that? 
I don't even know what you could like. That's wild. I've never even heard of something like that. Way I to would go. Love that. Way to go. I would love that. It was weather. It was. I don't know. It was. T- the weather was unbelievably gorgeous. And it, I mean, our street doesn't have young families on it anymore. Yeah. And maybe yours does. Yeah. And that makes a huge difference. You live on the oldie street. I live on the geriatric central. No, it's not that bad. But we just don't have like school age kids. Okay, so I'm knitting. What else are you knitting? Well, I've continued on with my stripes. Okay, so Jody, tell us about your ribbing. So I started ribbing. I have. But last time it was a different color. It was. Yeah. You guys, don't you love this way better? So Jordan said originally, you should do it in cream. And then I thought, no, I'm just going to do stripes for the everything. And then ultimately, I thought it was a good, it was, it was a good decision, right? I love it. I love this idea. So what made it really easy, you guys, is let me show you. When you go straight to ribbing to another color, you can see that bump. You can see that the color bumps of the first color there. So it was super easy to pick up. Pick up your first row of knitting. Yeah. And, and then, then knit up. But yeah, and then to unravel or cut off what you didn't well, need. Well, I basically cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. And so that, I love that decision. Um, I finished with um, my last stripe here of all the yarn I wanted I to I can't. Use. You're going to wear the crap out of this one. This is going to end up being three inches. Nice. I'm doing it. I'm going in for three Listen, inches. Listen, I did that with my turtle dove cardigan. And at the time, partway through, you think, I'm just going to bind off. Don't do it. It's so worth... I did that with my turtle dove, It's too. so worth the time. I continued, and I did it, and it looked so good, a, a deep ribbing like that. Here's what I... I went rogue. I feel like you're going to quit. Nope. Promise. I okay. went rogue. I'm going to double down and do four. Shocker. I went rogue on the sleeve decreases. Now, it's not my first sweater. What pattern are you following? I'm following Jared's Flood. Oh, yes. Jared Flood's pattern. My first raglan. My first raglan. Beautifully written pattern. Yeah. I would I would highly recommend. I just thought the sleeve is a little more ease than I thought in my head I wanted. Oh my God. So I started out by decreasing. Do you see my decreases? I do. So let me do it so you can see. Okay, so you see my decreases here. I decreased quite quickly. Which ultimately that part would have been just okay. I wouldn't have gone back. But then look what I did, you guys. Not even thinking. Look how much more quickly I decreased again. So oh, I've yeah. got two. This is okay. Should it have been slower? Yes. But I could have lived with this. This I put on and have a lump on my arm. Do you guys see right. this here? And I went down to Dody, what I... now what? That's okay. Here's Are what I'm okay going to do. It? No, I'm going to rip back. Okay. Here's what I'm going to rip back at because they have you kind of floating along and then do quick decreases before the ribbing. So the 18 decreases that I did here, I'm just going to continue to the length of the sleeve and my last row decrease evenly 18 stitches. Yeah. Because I don't want this. And then you get a cute little gathered look Yeah, and it does do that. Rather than a tape, this taper should have been... Should have been spaced out. Here's what happens when you decrease too quickly on a sleeve. Right. So Here's this is not this do. is so interesting because this literally was part of our design your own drop shoulder cardigan with Hohe. We yeah. had to measure our arms and measure to just the cuff, and then you divide out the length by your row gauge into how many and how spaced your decreases will be. So like, I did not. Th- I in my head I'm thinking. Oh, but I was decrease, decreasing six stitches in, in each stripe. So, of course, it's going to be that like that right. drastic like that. I, right. I wasn't thinking. And it's funny. And I, I like to be able to show this because this I'm going to live with. Under your arm, you're not going to see. You're not going to notice. But and So, you're going to pull back three stripes? I'm going to, I haven't done these. Th- because look what happened. It wasn't long enough. This is where it should have ended. I went back to the beginning and added the first three stripes here. Okay. So all I have to do is pull back these three. I'll knit them straight and then decrease quickly. This, I hadn't added it yet. What about not decreasing at all? Oh, that's a good, good. Oh, Tracy. Just, just putting, I don't know how, although it's pretty wide. It's ends up being 57 stitches. After you do your decrease? Yes. That'll be good. Um, Do you think 57? Because I I like a lot of sweaters 
I do like this. And ultimately, this is nice. You don't have to. That's that's gonna. This be, is gonna be. Yeah. Nice. I, you're gonna like that so much better. You're gonna like that so much better. So interesting. I that's need, a good tip. So though. I need those decreases. Yeah. But it's just where do I put? Because them? things like ribbing as a fabric already pulls things in by itself. Yeah. Going down a needle size already makes your circumference less. Like you could even instead of doing all these decreases. You know, if it was like color work or something, you could just keep changing your needle size down and it would still make a sleeve that would be narrower. It would seem like decreases, but really just your needle size going down will make the tube go smaller. Here's what I should have done is if I, I, this is me not planning. That's okay. Knowing how many decreases I needed and like the slower you do it, this, this arc is not going to be as strong. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a, a slant. That's so this is because you didn't follow the pattern. I'm sure the pattern tells you all of this. Right? I mean, and that's not thing. a dig. It's just like I just decided to not follow the pattern. Yeah. For no it's no big deal. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Right. Which is totally fine. I don't want people to freak out because I'm sure the pattern The pattern was amazing. Spaces it all out for you. Just don't do what I did, thinking I Or if you do, this uh, is what it will look like. Jared, I know better. Let me do a couple of <laughs> quick increases, decreases. Funny. Anyway, I thought that was Listen, a really interesting Listen, I love thing it I when we make a mistake and we share it. And, you know, this is how I feel like is the best way to learn. Yeah. Making that mistake or making, I don't even want to call it. I mean, I guess it's a mistake. I don't know. Whatever. And I'm knitting it with it's the, not a problem. Um, Durerum Natura, their worsted, which is Gilead. Beautiful. Which this sweater feels a like woolly, it's a woolen spun, like it's a soft. woolly, yeah. beautiful. You are gonna wear this so much. Don't you think? Yes. Yeah, I love it. And stripes are such a thing. I just love them so much. Okay, that was my f up of the week. Okay, I have a sweater that I effed up big time. Oh yeah. I, and I shouldn't say it with such a glee. But we pivoted. But in the same respect, I'm very happy with it. Excuse me. So last time we were here, I was knitting my Autumn Alpine by Caitlin Hunter, and I was in the color work section, <clears throat> and I was explaining to you guys that because I went up a needle size and my gauge was bigger, I just thought, oh, that's no big deal. I do that all the time with patterns as opposed to her fingering weight gauge. I'm just going to knit it at a bigger gauge, make a smaller size, and it will turn out the size I'm intending because my needles are bigger and my yarn is fatter. Yes. It's going to work. I do it all the time. All the time. But you didn't think of yoke. I did not think or consider that this is a full yoke color work um, chart. And so if I continued the chart in my gauge and did the whole chart, it was going to be 11 inches from cast on to when I separated for sleeves, which would have been considerably below my armpit. What is deeper than I you say originally imagined. Okay. And deeper than it looks on the actual pattern. You say eleven inches. What is kind of your sweet spot for the after learning this it that seems... your yoke is about? Hmm, that's such a good question. Or was it going to be more like 14 inches and I, and I, I quit? Like, yes. I think it's going to be, it was going to be more like 14 inches. And I, I've had sweaters that were like nine and a half to 11 inches for the, yoke, for mm. the yoke. And mine was going to be three more than the 11. So it was going to be 14. Mm, that's a lot. Which is fine. There's a lot of sweaters that are deep, deep raglans. And that is in the Swatcho. pattern. Yeah. It's kind of Beautiful. just a super deep. Yeah. I didn't really want that silhouette. So what am I going to do? Rip it all out, start Pivot. over, start new yarn. No, I just continued knitting the chart to the depth. I was here last time. So I knit the this sweat, this big bloom at the bottom to this little area here with this little guy. There is sort of a line that goes under here, which is the start of the leaf motif that I omit, omitted. So I didn't do the line that goes in there. So there's a tiny chart modification where I don't do that. But other than that, omitting that one little line, I've just knit the chart to like a certain row. And I'm going to put that in my Ravelry. You stopped at a really good spot where no one would know that you... I think so. Yeah. I think so. I love it. I think it's sometimes beautiful. Sometimes stopping a yoke abruptly, like it has to be more 
thought than that. Right. I think this was it totally half makes, a flower. makes sense. Yeah. This is repeated. These little yeah. diamonds are repeated. Love it. Um yes, I miss the little leaves, but I'm ultimately okay with not yeah. having them at all. And so then, so before we went on our holiday, I finished that chart, split. It's so good. I haven't even tried it on. So honestly, while we were traveling, it was just straight up stockinette stitch. Wooly stockinette stitch. I would say I'm halfway done the body before I do my ribbing. And was someone not going to tell me how amazing these are, these stitch stoppers? I know. Okay. Our pal Lally at Ocean Loop Studio has stocked up on stitch stoppers. And I have, I used, I use the um, Coco Knits foamy ones, but these are so much cuter. Now I've got sweaters and I bought a bunch They're more. They're really good. They're super duper handy and they work like a charm. Yeah. So. Smart. She can hook you Tracy, up with that. Tracy, I love the modifications you made and this pattern is now a, a release. Autumn Alpine is out. It's everywhere. Please go get it. Don't knit it in DK unless you want to. Change the chart. Tra and, message uh, Tracy. She'll walk you through it. <laughs> Listen, I didn't change anything other than my gauge and then quitting the chart. I really, like, I didn't change anything. Uh, yeah. The yarns I'm using are absolutely stunning. Frankie Gray Fibers in their Merino sock, their fingering weight, and the mohair in the color Black Cherry. It's so good. Look how good it looks with coral, too. It looks it's so good, so with, good with coral. This that that this mosaic cowl would be so good in those chick flick yes. and black cherry. Yes. And then I'm using Sonder yarn Sunday morning DK in the flannel color. And this is, I believe, on the ecru base. You'll find it. The color's flannel. It looks kind of burlapy. I love it. I think this combination you chose is so pretty. Um, those natural woolly colors like undyed it looks sort of like undyed, undyed or whatever yeah. but it totally isn't it's definitely dyed um i do love it i love bright sweaters what color was that again sorry yours no your flannel flannel it's called yeah flannel um and the reason i'm using it is because i had it yeah like i really wanted to use what i had so that's what it is sunday morning dk of course me. melissa's yarn we are You're just boring me giant fans what else is new and the I colors flannel so it's a really beautiful ne neutral yes. that you could put whatever you want with yeah. and that's why i bought it thinking oh i'm just gonna do a color work sweater and i don't want to worry about the color work yet so it is at but this the is oh so good this Your is actually knit in spin cycle dyed in the wool and their the moon drake where she mm. dyed the solid colors so gorgeous, but a totally different weight of yarn. And trust me, I have learned a lot of lessons with this sweater. Um, and I think that just makes us, I don't know, I just find it interesting. I find it interesting too, because I, listen, I've done this with a sleeve before and it's worked out where I decreased, I just happened to fluke where I decreased the amount of stitches I needed and it, it didn't do, I didn't have to do it again. And so it worked out. Yeah. But this and somebody asked me well why didn't you just separate for sleeves and then add the leaves yeah on the body and i absolutely could have done that yeah but you also have to add them on the sleeve later then or else it's gonna look weird more. yeah and then i just thought but you know what now that i think about it i totally could have done it you totally could do that because there's a very small amount of stitches that i added under the arm so those four stitches would not have been incorporated um, at all, but it would have been a small negative space. It wouldn't have been a giant yeah. empty spot. Mm -hmm. I could have done it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should rip back. You got a lot knit. I did. Anyway, well, I, I'm knitting. very, very, very happy with the way it's turning out. Do you guys want to know what we got to the shop and um, is amazing? I do. This. Totally. We talked about this book. Oh, this is so good. So, um, Gudrun Johnson and Mary Jane Mucklestone has just come up. Mucklestone has just come up with Grand Shetland Adventure Knits. Now, these women have been going to Shetland for years. They're best buddies. They were curating trips to Shetland and nitty tours around. And I think they were called the Grand Shetland Adventures. That was their yeah. travel 
company thing. That's oh. what they were. So this is, you know, Gudrun Johnston was born in Shetland. Mary Jane is just passionate and loves the whole culture. And she has, you know, she is color work. She's got those amazing stitch dictionaries. And these ladies have come together and they've both designed patterns, garments and accessories, socks even. Um, but they also write a couple of essays in this book. And they and all their photographs, things that they love about Shetland or makes you feel like you've actually been there just by listening to their stories. The book is so gorgeous. I feel like Colorwork Knitters. I want to find they one know sweater. they know they need this in their library. It would be such a beautiful gift um, if you're looking for a, some kind of gift for someone. I think it's so beautifully done. The charts and everything in the book are so good. Photography is stunning. It is photographed in Shetland. Oh. Um, it really, you can feel the love that these ladies have for all of this in this book. Look at this. Jody it, it, was all over this one. It's a V-neck, um, uh, one solid color sweater, cute little split um, hem detail. The color work is in your neckband. And that, yeah, you come back and pick up your neckband and then do your color work chart. Isn't that I cool? I can't even know. Oh, you guys, when are we going to Shetland? Jody. Um, Anytime. We, we ran into um, Mary Jane at Flock. Yeah. And I said to her, um, let's do another trip. Right. Because I would like to go. And but, she's like, I, who are you, crazy lady? Um, <laughs> yeah, sign me up. But do I know you? Here's, yeah. <laughs> Can I have some space? Um, okay. The Woolly Thistle. YouTube knitters know that the Woolly Thistle has a also a YouTube channel. And they do so many great interviews. They actually have a video that is just an interview and all about this book. So go to the Woolly Thistle and you can have a great convert. You can see the great conversation between Kareen and, and Mary Jane and Gudrun all about the book. I loved it. I watched Watched it before I saw the book. I don't want to give every single thing away because this book is just a jo oh, she's so Did we meet her? Okay, this Why sweater. So did we? I d no, I, I don't think we've met her. I'm sure we haven't. Um, But here's, okay, that, oh. that sweater, you'll learn in the Wooly Thistle video, that sweater is bottom up and then all the decreases happen in the lace yoke. Like it's all just built in. I mean, I guess it could happen. It's called Lucky Lines Pullover. I guess it could happen either way. And for all of you that think all the Shetland knitting is that super fine fingering weight yarn, uh, Mary Jane's got a cardigan in this book that is like 14, 13 or 14 oh. stitch gauge. So you can you can knit a um, heavier weight pattern out of there too. Um, it's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, it's huge. This book is a stunner. I feel a like stunner, I need stunner. to knit the vest, and it is fingering weight. I'm gonna freaking do it. Um, while we're here, oh. our next this oh. is pre-order. I'll sh start shipping it later next week, just so you know. But Pom Pom that... has announced January issue will be their last. It's their spring 2024, whenever that happens. So of course there was the gasps heard around the world by knitters yesterday and sad but you know i feel like the it, the reasons they're they're leaving and they've sort of tried all of their options they've exhausted all their options what about digital only i mean you can Is that the you first? are always going to from what i read on their blog you're always going to be able to buy digital copies of their what's out, out there but um Paper, just the i mean paper is sky high shipping, shipping is sky high everything printing. and maybe they want to pivot i don't know to something different all i know is what they have done is so special i feel like they're they have really they were the first knitting kind of culture magazine that i ever knew of and i used to go to our bookstore i used to go to chapters looking for pom pom magazine cuz it wasn't even at our local yarn shop I think they are incredible at what they've done and what they've been to this community. And I, I don't even want to think about them not being around, but that's just the way, you know, things have gone. Who knows what's going to happen next, but 
you know, I guess we should all just express our thanks to Pom Pom for what they have given us. And they're just. I can't talk about it yet. It's too soon. I know. It's too raw. Look at these socks. Color work, patchy, two color. Amazing. I just love everything about them. So. Oh, does this mean our issues will be going up in value if we're collectors? <laughs> they are collectors. Listen. Here's the thing. <gasps> you can actually go. Here's the thing. This is what you need to do. Are you sad Pom Pom's going to be gone? This is your mission. You can go to their website and pre-order their last magazine, which is the spring issue. That really helps them out. Knowing how many to print and making sure everybody gets one that wants one. And you can also purchase back issues for 50% off. So if your collection is missing an issue or two, um, go get it. That really helps them. Let's let's go to their shop and buy what they need, you know, what they've got there. And we will continue to stock Pom Pom on our Grocery Girls website until it's not around anymore. So I will, I'll be placing an order today you for guys, what we can get. Star, one? thank you. Twenty three. I'll you. text you later and Bye, thank you Star. so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is a standout for me. This one. It's mohair and fingering. It's gorgeous. Right? I love the simple shape. I love the little color blocking. And this, but I'm that. picturing that one color. No, I think I like it. I'll, I don't know what my colors would be, but yes, in solid, it will be gorgeous. I would, I would, I looked at that thinking, oh, I could totally, I would love to knit that. So if you can see, you guys, it changes. Like here's the reverse stockinette bump, big bump here. And this it's is stockinette huge... here. Like the line kind of switches. No, it has like to be a stripes. Grid. Like a grid. Like a grid. Can I see? It's a, this is this, we say it oh, every time. Oh, it's an offset ribbing. Yeah. Spectacular. Spectacular. In a giant scale. Like many, many stitches. There is, for me, so many stand. You know, sometimes. And it's all marled. Sometimes the theme doesn't resonate as much um, in every book that you see. But. Oh, come on. Look at it. Hello. Yes. I feel this like is that's spectacular. a done deal. Yeah, we love it. And look at it. Oh, we did you see that it. version? Yes. <gasps> oh, so good. So less colors. It's a mane and a stripe. What? I feel like that's a done deal. That's a done deal for me. We should have a pom-pom knit along. Sure. Okay, Olga, we were talking about Olga Jazzy and the amazing classes. We already knew how he was amazing because we've taken her class. Right. But we... I've admired Olga's work forever. You know, she was... She's... She was witty. She was engaging. Oh, so much fun to she talk to. She was funny. Yes, all of the above. If you can, again, we want to stress. So easy and chill to hang out with. Yes. I love that. And so open, wonderful conversations. And then you get a peek into how her brain works. And it's astonishing. She's obsessed oh. with Hold fabric. Like Hold how on. to manipulate the flat plane of knitting um, I, I mean, this. she's so, oh, I had that. I don't know what I did with it. Like, I'm so, we were supposed to I bring it. I lost my class handouts with all my calculations oh, for my Are you serious? Cardigan. Was it the one we threw in the garbage on the way out? Maybe. It was just on the counter. Didn't even think about that. I have mine. Great. Do you want them with my no. measurements? No. Just kidding. I'm going to have to redo it. Hope you um, sent me a blank one. Um, this is so cool. This is 3D knitting. This is the very first... Is it called inch. Mocha Mocha Cowl? It's the first inch Just of knitting. Sec, I'm going to bring it up. With the cowl, and you knit it all, and you come back and provisionally cast on. I can't, you guys, look at these. Okay, here's the secret. These are tiny little stockinette rectangles. Yeah. That's it. There's no wrap and turn. There's no short rows. You're just working along a row of knitting. It's so, you can, everybody can do this. If you're at all it's interested. It's really fun. This would be a really fun place to start. Her instructions, if you're reading them verbatim, are like... perfectly written out. You shouldn't have any questions. But like. That's what blew me away so much is that this complicated looking um, accessory. And just the way you go back on it and pick up the stitch, not pick up, go back on, pick up the stitches. You're like knitting a little bit. And then going a little bit further, knitting a little, like it just makes these beautiful 3D puckers. I'm not explaining it right, but it's so fun. Not at all. 
No. Is it on there? Um, um, this was fun. There were some, some ladies by like the second day had gotten really far in their cowl. There was a, there was a different, a few different options you could pick from to, um, sample Obviously I have the in her class. Totally wrong. I don't know. I just put in Olga Jazzy cowl. This is. Oh yeah, Must, there it is right there. Must I have all the information? Please tell me you have my handout. No, I have my handout. Anyway, the class was 3D knitwear. It was phenomenal. What's like, that called? Like, look at this, you guys. This one Jody's showing you is called. I have the up right here. Moco Moco, not Mocha Mocha. Moco Moco. Listen, I could totally see myself finishing that project. This is blocked, so it's a little more relaxed, but it's these like bundles of rows that are kind of like. It's little rectangle panels, and then you do a little bit of some kind of joining like stitches, whether it's garter or stockinette. And then you start again making your panels. And you started with a provisional cast on, so at the end, you do some grafting and you're done. And what it's Olga's an, doing is working with stitches and stitch patterns and using it to her advantage. Like, for example, this, she used an example, stockinette stitch swatches will automatically roll in on themselves. They'll mm -hmm. make that roll. Mm -hmm. So she, these are these are all stockinette stitch, right? There's no, but so there's they're all stockinette stitch. So then when, when they're, like that they roll on themselves nature. and make this this roll of fabric yeah. so she's like what can i do to yeah. use that and she's come up with this and that was done through um gauge needle size fiber all kinds of things so it was fascinating listen olga teaches lots of places if you can take her 3d knitwear class i have no doubt that you'll find it like semi mind-blowing she's very her brain works in very interesting ways and she's got so much life experience from living in like Japan and other places that I think that just has um, like that's where her inspiration can probably come from so many places. She wore this hat and I wanted to print it out and show because it was absolutely adorable. It's knit with two different contrasting stains, skeins of plumpy spin cycle. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. It looks adorable. And then imagine these like groovy little sunglasses. Cat, yeah. But the hat is ph phenomenal. And who doesn't, who doesn't love a bulky weight? Bulky. And she said you could knit it in a solid color, but you're still using two different st strands. It's reversible. Yeah. It was reversible. Yeah. I love it in two colors. I feel like you really get that cool texture. It's so obvious. Oh, so I don't know if you Koyo. Can... Koyo hat. There's a little. I hope we um, I'm sure run into her again it, at but some point. See, she's got it folded up. It's got. Look at these amazing decreases, and it was just so beautiful. Okay. How? Yeah, it was so pretty. Um, that was amazing, and of course the class with the drop shoulder card. I mean, there were people. So after Hohi's class, learn to design your own drop shoulder card again. There were people that cast on right away and were doing it, and they were well on their way. Yeah. And everybody had, you know, chosen a different stitch pattern and had a different gauge. And we were all getting measured properly. How he measured everybody. And it was beyond valuable. If you yeah. like to knit sweaters, it was, it was yeah. great. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any more knitting per se, but I, I have some have... things that I bought. Are you done the knitting? Yeah. Okay. Me too. I am. Honestly, I think that interview. I spent so much time with on my sweater that, you know, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so good, you okay. guys. Um, do you want to see? You want to hear about a really cool local collab? Our one of our local yarn shops, Yarn Divas, is yeah. in Saint Albert. So yeah. that's just right outside of the Edmonton border. Like, I would don't even think of it as outside of Edmonton, yeah. but technically it is. They um, they dye in-house yarns. They do their own some of their own yarns as well as they just have the cutest little shop. If you're ever around, you need to go to Yarn Divas. This is their brand, and they have collaborated on the cutest 
kit. What happened to the... Oh, I ripped it off. So far, so good. This is the Forest Friends Christmas kit. There is a local designer, a local yarn dyer, and a local bag maker. And they've all come together to make this kit. So it is Sarah Kelly, who is Gray Owl Knits, and she did the pattern. Let me pull up the pattern really quick. You guys. Is it a cowl? No, it's Colorwork Mittens. Oh, I knew that. Never mind. And they're gorgeous. I mean, I just love, love the design. You know I love a good Colorwork Mitten. Love it. I like their graphic. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I love the bar yarn band or whatever. Okay. These are the mittens. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Very foresty, wintry. Yeah. Um, it does have a folded cuff. Mm. So you do see, you don't see this part on the bottom, but it's very soft and it's just some stockinette fabric mm. underneath. This is a recycled cashmere yarn. 95% recycled cashmere is what this is. And there are two kits. There's a bluey gray, like, like the mittens in the picture. Yeah. And then this kind of beautiful evergreeny color. Love. Um, I know the kit color often goes first, but I have to say I'm really partial to this beautiful green. And then you get this beautiful bag who is, it's from Longview Creations, which is Krista. And she made this super cute little drawstring project bag with the whole forest theme. That is cute. Kind of quilted. It's perfect size for a small project. But, so you get the yarn. This is your whole yarn kit. These are merino. This is recycled cashmere. And it all makes the beginning. It's fingering weight. Yeah. Okay. It is. Lots of those. Um, Selbu. Those are like that, right? Selbu inspired mittens. But this is like, a, not a choose your own adventure, but you're going down the path in the pattern and it will tell you you get this whole bag of little gifts and these all relate to the pattern and your mitten experience. Gift number three, open at the end of the cuff chart. Oh, I don't know what that I'm is. I'm going to peek. I won't show you. Um, gift number seven, open when starting second mitten. There's a whole bag of these gifts, like a whole bunch. I'm not often like, wow, not not wowed, but like wowed. This I'm is, wowed. This is, I'm wowed. I'm wowed. La I'm not going to show you, but it's amazing. Here's the last one. Open before you wear them because you did it. Like there's, Look so at this it. is nine. You get nine little gifts along the way that are part of the experience. So it's not only this beautiful cashmere yarn and this beautiful bag and this stunning pattern, which I think is so beautiful. Um, I especially love it because it's all these local ladies. You guys, what I'm telling you, what I just opened in gift number three is incredible. Secrets don't stand a chance with Jody. I'm just saying that. Um, because this is a giveaway. This is a giveaway. Yeah. I was just going to say, like, I can't believe. I want to see every single they're thing They're so before you... generous to, to offer a giveaway. This is luxurious and special and you know, Don't, it's I, not even holiday related. You can have fun with this whenever you want, whatever you celebrate. Um, it's a winter knit. It here's, is just super fun. It can what, be a countdown of some kind mm. if you like. Here's what I'd like to say about this. Buckle up. Um, I love and appreciate that not everyone likes a mystery like me when it comes to skeins or patterns. Yeah. So... For you to be able to choose the yarn that speaks to you and still have all those surprises yeah. is right. ingenious. You know what colors you're working with. You pick the blue or you pick the green kit. I can't. None of this is available individually. This is an exclusive kit and it is pretty exclusive. Like, if you love it, go now to the Yarn Divas website <gasps> uh, and just know that you're supporting women owned small business and they really this has been months okay. in the making i months thought it was and months. i thought it was another um oh shoot just I put all the yarn in there not just another kit like but they have upped their game i and... just you can see all the thought that's gone into this yeah. uh so one lucky viewer is going to win this it's going to be a giveaway on our instagram page because these businesses want you 
to know what they've got. They want you to see what they're carrying. Let's expand their reach, expand their followers. Um, we're going to ask you to follow everybody. And by Sunday, we'll have a name that goes with this and we will send it out to whomever that happens to be wherever you are in the world. So mitten knitters, get ready because this is it. This is your moment. Um, and if you're interested in just purchasing a kit, which would be amazing, they're available now. Yeah. Love it. So thank you to the ladies at Yarn Diva for thinking of us to share this with. I kept saying, are you sure you don't want to keep this? This is amazing. And she's like, nope. We really want you guys to find a home for it. So Jody's going to peek in every bag, just so you know. <laughs> um, but I love supporting and shouting out that. We're yeah. so lucky. Yeah. For a long time, we only had one yarn shop. And now we have a whole bunch. And I feel like that's so good for our community. Right? It is. It means people are excited to do in-person things totally. it means bringing people together it means gathering all that I love right it. so go to yarn divas I'm, let me see what their website is hmm. probably says it on the thing i'm busy busy spoiling all the gifts right yarn divas somebody said what's the link you know what guys sometimes we need to google things if it's yarn divas.com where's star when we need her right listen Totally, oh. I totally appreciate her deal. Um, we will link the kit absolutely in our show notes, but I just don't have it handy at the moment. Adela said she got an email that said Thread and Maple are hiring. Lucky people in Ontario, whoever's close. Is she moving? She said she's going to apply and move. Adela, we should all move together. Okay, isn't that funny? Oh, Diva Gift Along. Is that what that is? Okay, here it is. Google... Diva Christmas Gift Along Mitten Kit. Anyway, I'll okay, absolutely good. link it. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, love it. I, I, you know, super limited edition. So get it while you can. So beautiful. Thanks, oh, I love that one item I opened first. Did you? Oh, okay, good. It. And I feel like by the end of it, you've got this gorgeous pattern and all these little goodies and a beautiful bag. And maybe the mittens are for you or maybe they're going to give them away. But I love that. Do you know what I meant to bring and I forgot? I was a participant. I'm bummed I forgot. Um, spin, um, spun right round. Renee did a countdown to Halloween, 13-day countdown. Well, I still have our Halloween countdowns to give away because when we were away, we were away. Like we, we missed away. a whole week. Yeah. So we'll do that. Are, is that are you going to knit it? Did you knit it? No, but it was so good. Okay, good. Next. And I didn't open it Because you were away. I know. And then I okay. got to tear into it after. Okay, good. Yeah. Next time. We'll be back in two weeks. It's 3.56 in Australia right now. A.M.? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, can I share one more thing that just popped in? I'm not done yet. I have more to show. Oh, good. Do you have more to show? Like what? Do you, are you not showing any yarn you bought? Yes, but I'm going to show these couple things that came for us to give oh, away. Oh, I thought you were wrapping it up. Like, no, I have more to show. Whoa, pump the brakes, sister. Yeah. No, okay. Our lovely friends at the Village Len Yarn, uh, Yarn Cafe sent us their Take a Hike sock kit or sock something. Did you know this was coming? No. It's beautiful. So this is the same thing as their adventure box thing, yarn adventure, but this is specifically socks. Oh, cool. So it's super cute though that you get a pattern and a stitch marker and a postcard and they're always inspired by places in Canada. This is in New Brunswick, like a fall, the fall leaves in this Mapleton Acadian Forest Preserve. Yeah. So they took the red out of there and they've got this gorgeous um, yarn set. Perfect. Thanks, know. guys. It's gorgeous. So this is going to go into our sock bash prizes and uh, the socks are adorable. They look like a buffalo plaid kind That's of. Cute. That's why you get these colors. So, so super cute. I have a couple of things to show before I'm, I'm Frankie Gray Fibers. I didn't buy a lot when I was away. It was more, there was a marketplace. I'm going to, okay, I bought a sweater quantity. <laughs> I'm just not sure I did what buy, you're talking about. I bought two skeins of a brand new colorway. I'm not even sure it's released yet in dream state. I kind of don't think it is. Um, I don't, but think it's coming soon. Maybe it came out this week. I don't know. It's called Opia. Their update's not till today, right? Yeah. Um, it's navy. This is either a giant spoiler or no it's already No one said out. anything. No, no one said anything. Like, um, 
No. I, I hope they think of it as pure promotion if I'm spoiling it. Right. It's um, Listen, you weren't the only person that you bought it because yeah. it was stunning. Everybody was like, so oh. this is on the Dream State base, but it, they also have it on the Dyed in the Wool. Mm-hmm. And it is, think navy with raspberry blush Magenta. and like a charcoal. Yeah. Think beautiful. <gasps> you guys, can you? It's so I'm just double checking. I don't know if it's out yet, but Thursdays is their update day. I wonder if it's in their update today. Um, no, but still. Okay, get ready. It came out today. I got their newsletter. It did it. Yay! What? Look at that timing. Isn't um, that funny? They don't have it listed on the. But thing. I like getting ones that are really um, chunked and um, big colors changes. Mm-hmm. Some people like to go with the more you know soft and subtle. But I like the chunks of it. Mm -hmm. (gasps) You guys. It's beautiful. There was also another color. I don't know if it's available today, but it was like a neon yellow. Oh, yeah. It was called. With like sand and bad egg. Called bad egg. That might be in the newsletter in the email, but it's not on their Instagram page. So it's coming. It's It's coming. So I just thought this was spectacular. It is. I couldn't agree more. Opia. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Very gorgeous. Okay. Love it. Um, it was really fun to go to the Spin Cycle shop. Uh, I did get a little bit of that, too. Basically, I brought home yarn from local makers um, where we yes. were. Everything's, like, local, local. Yeah. So that was great. I ended up buying a couple. Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm just about unpacking. It. I bought three skeins you, of, in the dream state in the color Shades of Earth. And I love it. You I think it's so, so Actually, beautiful. Actually, you, know you many times when I've seen it in person, I picked it up and go, oh, what's this? And it was Shades of Earth. Oh, I love it. I, yeah. I see it with like a cream background maybe or a light blue or maybe something like that. And I wasn't sure. I just thought, you know what? Yes. Some kind of color works something. Um, but somebody said, is it hand dyed? Absolutely. It's hand dyed in the wool roving and then spun, processed and spun and plied together and all well, that let stuff. Let me tell you how it's made. Right. Uh, I have to do some Instagram. Like it's been so busy with the fundraiser that I haven't done a little Tracy reel of our trip or our little thing at the spin cycle. I would love, so I'm going to take some time and do that. Um, and then I saw these sca- So I did that. Listen, I spoiled myself. Let's be honest. I spoiled myself. Two skeins, and I saw this and thought, oh, my gosh, yes. What is that? What is it? I love it. It's Ghost Ranch. Is it? It's Ghost Ranch. Oh, yeah. But it looks so different. I can't tell you how dirty my glasses are. All the time. All the time. So, um, yeah, that's the. I think that's the price, correct? Somebody said. What? That I don't know. They posted the price. It's something like that. Yeah. Um, all their prices are on their website, so you'll yeah. you'll know for sure. But this dream state I thought was beautiful, and then I thought I was thinking color work, and I grabbed a skein of Moondrake's Coriadale DK, and I thought that would be really cute. We actually thought it might be better with the shades of earth, mm-hmm. but I have options. I agree. So that was it. I that agree. was my total spoil myself moment at the Spin Cycle Yarn Shop. I should start casting on. I love it. Yeah. Um, we've talked about Hinterland Yarn before. We had had, um, we've known Hannah Lee for years now. She was part of our very first um, Galliano Island retreat. And Knit City. First Knit City yeah. we ever went to. So we've known her for years. We love her so much. And she was, a, she was not only, we went to a field trip again at her farm. Yeah. Saw her alpaca. You know what she does with her alpacas, you guys? She rescues old alpacas to live out their years on a farm. Yeah. It's amazing. It is amazing. And they're very, very happy alpacas. Yeah. It was so nice to see them. Oh. So she uses their their fleece fleece combined with some fleece she gets from a farm outside of Lesbridge. And that's where she gets her bases. It's her alpaca and Rambouillet from Alberta. Okay. It's almost half and half. It's such a so, gorgeous blend. Okay. I cannot wait to get my striped sweater 
done fast enough because this is i should actually swatch just for fun totally so what i'm she has a base called range she has several bases but she has a base called range and it's dk weight it's woolens no worsted weight it's woolen spun yeah it is so soft. She was wearing sweaters in it. She had samples of sweater in it. There were knitters at the retreat wearing sweaters in this yarn. She has a fingering weight as well, a single ply and a bulky. Like, you can't go wrong. It's a small, um, I don't know, small fiber farm business. It's yep. such beautiful yarn. And the sweaters that were made, or even the hats and whatever... Just phenomenal. And they're just going to last forever. It's beautiful, beautiful wool. I picked ash as my main color and then honey for color work. You know, there was a lovely knitter that we met who, who we met who had the most beautiful sweaters. Yeah. She had a Julie Hoover sweater on. It's called Clive. Was no. that Francis? Yeah, that Clive. That? No, I'm not saying it right. I'll, fi I'll find it for you. Anyway, everybody wanted to. It was in range wool in honey. And once you saw it knit, I mean, it's amazing in this game, but when you see it knit. This is maple, which is a really warm kind of brownie color. And these are all just blended natural colors. Nothing has been dyed, I believe. Yeah. Right? So, you guys. But it's pretty cool to see the alpacas. And she, you know, um, Hannah Lee also has some BFL sheep on her farm. Um but the, the wool is amazing. And, you know, I've been collecting it forever, and I've never really knit from it. This will be my next cast on. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Do you know she had a ram? Can I just say? <laughs> Here come the city girl comments Can I just farm. say, some thought it was a, it was a, um, a, a, a utter, a mother, a, a mother a with nursing big, mother. That's going to give you a scale on how big the I'm testicles were. I'm talking soccer ball. No, almost. but they were long. I know, but like, like dragging size? on the ground. Well, almost football. Think football. Listen, I thought Jody was just being hilarious. She's like, "Look at his balls." I was like, "That's not what that is." Yeah. Sure enough, they were sure enough. Most of the big. people there were like, "No." Yes. Yeah. So he was um, quite the Hannah Lee. So gross. It was just cheap. It we're was like, hilarious. <laughs> Look at the balls. We were so dumb. Idiots. Whatever. But Idiots. it was funny. It was very funny. And I was really surprised that Jody was right. Not that she was right, that that was what it was. Right. They, yeah. They were shocking. But boy, was he happy. Like those sheep were like running around, prancing around. She had little baby ra um, rams. And she had triplets this year, you guys. Yeah, it's so cute. I mean, they're so... I know how much work... And I really don't. I can imagine how much work it is out there. But what a beautiful piece of property to raise a family. And you've got all these animals around. And the scenery is just so majestically gorgeous. It's beautiful. And Hannah Lee and her husband and two boys, they, I mean, they couldn't be more amazing people. And we love to be able to support. Listen. And her, if, she's got an online shop. We can yeah. all buy her yarn anytime. If we don't support small makers mm -hmm. that maybe are less seen, less. Right. At, then Sign these, up far, for these farms don't stay around forever. Like, there are beautiful patterns need... designed in this yarn. Listen, if you are a worsted. I cannot wait to catch it. Catch worsted on. weight sweater lover. This yarn is, and it's really, she said it's quite flexible. You can knit it to Aran weight gauge mm -hmm. um, as well. And, you know, I love a loose gauge kind of. It is a softly, a soft two ply, squishy, light as air. Woolen spun. I think next to skin soft because it's got, listen, 50% alpaca. It's going to feel like a wool sweater, but in the best, not itchy, not scratchy, but it's got that slight toothiness of like, oh, this is real wool. But it's Which half alpaca. Oh. The fab, the fi the fabric was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loved it. Love it. Love it. Love so it. So basically, you know, I bought a bunch of farm yarn from the island of Pender Island, and there was the hinterland. Hinterland is the name of the. Well, I don't even know if that it, the farm has a name, but her company is Hinterland. The website is hinterlandyarn.com. Yeah. And you'll see all these patterns that are done in her yarn. You'll be able to purchase yarn. Um, Hold the wow. phone. I'm going to pick that up. This would be such a good yarn to make Jeff's next sweater in. He would love something like that. I see. There's another gray and there was another, 
I actually, I put it's over there. Um, I'm going into Ravelry. There's maybe you... five colors in this range, and they're all gorgeous. So there were, we got to go to two sheep farms, and we went to um, Inish Isle Farm, and she had. Her name was Jody. Cotswold sheep. Ridiculously cute, and they're running around like crazy, and they were so cute. And apparently, they're a rare breed. So she's got something like forty sheep that she is raising uh, and shearing their wool for yarn. Um, and it was such a special thing to go to these little farms. Okay, I have a quick question on Ravelry because you'll know the answer. So um, I'm sure I'm sorry if it's not accessible for you, but my question is about Ravelry. So when I, across the top you can search by yarn, mm -hmm. and I've done that for Hinterland. So I know there's projects knit in it, or they have pattern ideas. How do we find the ones that are specifically knit in this? If you hit pattern ideas, the ones that are designed in it should come up. And just that people are knitting. Okay. In that yarn. Okay. God, it so does start with a C, that Julie Hooper one. It was beautiful. Okay, good. That was my question. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this yarn that I chose from her is actually a wool silk blend. So it's the Cotswold wool plus some silk and it's... This kind of loose plied fingering weight with a little bit of a halo. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then they had their new wave fiber, which was another sheep farm. And she had other sheep, like Rommeldale. Yeah. And he was gorgeous. What was his name? Ivan, Isaac, something like that. And this is fluffy, airy, they were light adorable. woolen sponge. She had a big panel of lace knit, and it was like, air it was like nothing so newwavefiber.com and you can again all farm yarn they raise the sheep they shear and get their yarn processed these women they're all women too yeah. doing this yeah. i mean hanley has her husband who i'm sure is involved in some way but this is hanley's baby Many, and these were women too yeah women um shepherds yeah. and raising and loving their sheep and bringing the yarn to us knitters I'm having an amazing hot flash. That's it. That's it. What's it called? Colvin? Colvin. It's pieced, but it's so beautiful, you guys. I almost thought of knitting it. So you think the front and back are just pieced? and All then of it. And set then in you, sleeves. You, you could pick up and just knit the sleeves. You could, but they are set in. When, when I have hot flashes, like sometimes I feel nauseous. Mm -hmm. Do you? Mm -hmm. And then my anxiety gets really bad. Mm -hmm. Right? Like instantly I think I some of like... that is because we haven't eaten or what. Did you eat this morning? No. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. So that was super beautiful. So there's so many patterns that you guys can. I can't with this yarn. I get excited when, you know, when you know what your next sweater is going to be. Yeah, so sometimes I have a trouble choosing. Totally. Anyway, it's beautiful. Any worsted weight pattern. Totally. And I just feel like, too, if you're looking for maybe kind of, you know, maybe you just want to get a skein and try it and make a hat or some mitts that are going to last you so well or something like that. Yeah. I just love shouting out, you know, everybody. But, of course, the farms that are growing the fiber, too, you know, that's a soft spot for us. Okay, you know what's funny? kind no. of ironic and I didn't even realize that till right now is Cheryl Faust who did the bandana cowl I just took off because yeah. I'm dying of a hot flash um Ellie she put out a pattern oh good and it's I believe it's worsted you guys oh it's pretty isn't that pretty yeah I love the color work on that it's called vitriol vitrol yeah. vitrol pullover pretty yeah what beautiful color she used. Yeah. This was a new one. Okay. So have we come to the end? We want to show us what's going on at Frankie Gray? I do, but I have a, just, I think, two more patterns to show. Okay. Oh, oh I love that one. This one? Or this no, one? this oh. that I saw that just came out. I thought I'm, it was so cute. My printer was wonky. It's a little vest. It's called Frisky Witch, and it's an Aran weight. It's a small, she has it a little bit cropped, but of course you can lengthen it, but it's a vest. And it's kind of like drop shoulder with a turtleneck, but you don't have to do the turtleneck if it's not your thing. It's a vest in the way that you don't pick up and knit sleeves, but mm. it's a, it's 
a drop, a bit of a drop shoulder here, so it creates a little bit of a cap and you do, sleeve. I think you do a little bit of ribbing. It's so cute. Star's I loved back. it. Oh, Star, that was quick. Where I thought you... you were gone, gone. I thought you were gone, gone too. Thank you for coming back. So that's really good. And then this other one, you guys, Ozette. Ozetta? By Ozetta. That's nice. The clay sweater. It's DK. It's brand new. Hmm. Drop shoulders having a moment. Yeah, drop shoulders very, very. You guys, it is it is my printer with the lines, but it also has these garter bumps, reverse stockinette garter bumps throughout that makes a really beautiful texture, kind of mimicking stripes. I thought this was beautiful. Brand new. You know what this was knit in? New to, like a neuted in, what's that stuff called? Oh, that like unspun. Unspun plates of yarn. Yeah. That's what this was knit in. Okay. So it's a Boy, DK that's, weight. That's super light as air. It would be, wouldn't it? Yes. So that's really beautiful. So I that's... still want to knit, knit something out of yarn like that. It's just so different from anything I've ever used. It made the light if you thought mohair held double was light and soft because you started something with that i did a swatch right just to see what it did right yeah right okay maybe that's what i'm thinking it was of. so beautiful i see i ha it's beautiful okay good beautiful well listen many people have used it and then continue to use it so can it you obviously... check your notes please me yeah was there anything else we're forgetting i feel like we're whipping through this pretty quick you do Oh, if we're almost at three hours, my bad. No, I do not feel like we're ripping through anything. Oh, I'm looking it's at like this. It's like you're in a time warp. Listen, I'm looking at this timer thinking, how have we not hit an hour and a half? Can I just say, thank you for reminding me to look at my notes. You guys, part of our knit for the girls thing, all the whole scope, we are having a knitted knockers make along. And I'm calling it a make along because there's crochet, there's knitted. Go to our Ravelry group. You will see a thread that says knitted knockers make along. Thread and Maple are hosting with us. So you're going to see them in there making comments. We have prizes, three pairs of knitted knockers or six individual knockers is a entry. So, you know, work up and the, the uh, patterns are linked. Please be aware that knitted knockers themselves require certain types of yarns. You can't just yeah. grab a skein of like indie dyed it has sock to be yarn. Breathable. Like cotton is a very popular. Yeah. And what's a knitted knocker? It is a knitted or crocheted yarn breast prosthetic. Yeah. And so there's lots of women that have had um, mastectomies or double mastectomies and love using these prosthetics. I made them years and years ago. Our yarn shop did a, a drive. Um, so these knitted knockers, you can actually send them to knitted knockers. You make them and then they will stuff them and make sure they get into the hands of women that need them. So it is a wonderful charity to be part of and it's a really great way to um, support also things in re relation to breast cancer. Uh, but please click on the link and the pattern will tell you what kinds of yarn they like. It's something like P Ultra Pima Cotton yes. was one that you, we used a lot. There's mostly, I think, a cotton selection. And I think there's many price points. And you may even have it in your stash. Oftentimes a prosthetic right against your skin that you like make of the silicone non-breathable things will cause rashing yeah. and things be between the, the skin and the prosthetic. I've actually remember meeting a lady saying, you know what, I actually got some of these knitted yes. knockers. And she said... They're fantastic it's to wear. It's been a game changer for people. Yeah. And please remember, skin tones, there's a giant variety of skin yeah. tones. So don't think, you know, because you're not getting your skin tone that you can't find a color that's going to work for many other people. We would like people of so all colors. So I would love to see that rainbow of skin tones in our Ravelry Black group. Black and brown. All of Pinks, that. all of the ranges Everything. in between. Everything. Yeah. So um, we have a knit along. A make along and it only goes for the month of november now it started a little bit in october we have amazing prizes of course yeah so please we oh, would love you such good prizes we would love you to help contribute to the knitted knockers mm -hmm. estelle yarn eco cotton amanda has some that's one shop. of them yeah okay good crafty jackalope will hook you up love that you can make some uh, knitted knockers and i just think it's a really great thing and i um 
I think the Australia Karina too is also running a make along mm -hmm. for the Australian version. It's called Tassie Boobs, I think. Oh, so it's so slightly cute. different, but same idea where they're getting beautiful, natural mm -hmm. um, breast prosthetics into women's hands that need them, into women's bras. I love it. Yeah. And I, I want to just circle back quickly. I had someone in the comments. I don't know if it's the designer, but you guys, um, the sibling sweater, I'm obsessed. Okay, that's Laura Penrose, who's, that's, she's the one that I test knit that eclair for. You it, guys, her patterns are, you guys, I love them. This is a DK pattern. It just came out. It's size inclusive. It goes up to 69 inches, and she's saying the pattern can be anywhere between two and, depending on how much ease you like. Um, that's amazing. DK. Okay, here's the thing. It's so cute. She started, she's got a YouTube channel, a Patreon. She's a designer, wonderful, all around human. Yeah. She knit this sweater and designed, it's a children's pattern called Sibling Sweater. And it's, that was first. Oh, this Peep, is Sibling Sweater my size. People loved it so much. They were like, um, okay, so now are you going to design one that I can wear? So this is the second version of that pattern. Let me show you. Because something. people loved it so much. It is so cute. Look um, at the detail at the back. Yes. Oh. <gasps> yes. Do you know, it makes me want to cast this on because of these cool constructions. You could do that with your range. And these techniques that I haven't done before. Yes, like, why I, not? I should do a striped. Wouldn't that be fun? Yep. I thought it was, I'll have to order more yarn from Hannah Lee, but I can get going on this. Jody, I must have, I'll have a skein of something you can, I know well, I've got I a skein of. I only got two skeins of honey. Okay, well. I think I might need two more. One more maybe? Well, look at the pattern first. Yeah. Buy the pattern. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. yeah, awesome, right? So thanks for reminding me to look at my notes. <laughs> um, I forgot that I put notes. We have a really fun, okay, so we're giving away this amuse, amazing mitten kit this time. But come back next time. We have another amazing countdown giveaway. You guys are going to, this is the time, right? It's yeah. going to start happening. So we're so grateful to all these generous makers. Um, What's going on with Frankie okay, Gray? Okay, Frankie Gray Fibers, we have a brand new color added to our dive to order solids. And the final, no, there must be a Taylor's version. Anyway, there's so much Taylor Swift going on. She added two, Van three Vancouver dates. No. Dis when does it go on sale? Like right away. Is Jordan trying to get Where them? Everyone's trying to get them for her. Right. Um, okay, so the, uh, this is folklore. We can give me the details so yeah. I can be one of those people. See if we get the coat. This is folklore. I'm going to show you the graphic because it's very... This is beautiful. Um, the... Okay, just a minute. Let's go into Frankie Grim Fibers. Um, the graphic, uh, the, it's like a... Um, let me just show you before I explain it because it's so pretty. Um, Taylor. You guys. What's it called? Folklore. Oh my God. Sorry. It's like I needed to be prepared. <laughs> the graphic is a like a forest and it's soft. It's not black, but it's smudgy kind of like gray and like all moody and foggy jody yeah. this is so good so this is available in the shop right now to order i love it we are circling back next month and we are going to have a pre-order up as well as mini sets of all the colors Ooh, that's such a good idea mini set we have added an evergreen to our dyed to order color it's so pretty it goes with this so, is a great we, that's green. for you that's dk <gasps> thank jody but thank look, you evergreen we just think we were that's trying to think a of a green, green for these holiday sets or these winter sets that we did and i we didn't really have one that we were thinking goes well so we came up with evergreen and we love it i love it too so it's available it looks super order. like wear like a beautiful classic yeah. easy to wear yeah um, and yet, I feel like this color kind of goes with so much. It does go with so much. Yeah. I We thought it was really pretty. It's beautiful. So what we did this year is um, we have turned three of our f most favorite holiday speckled skeins into 
a new version of a lightly speckled skein, but then we broke out the minis. Nice. So this one is called um, Gingerbread. Gingerbread Man. Oh Cute. Jordan just did this. So we have, see, evergreen. We needed an evergreen in here. So evergreen, um, natural, brick, chestnut, and eucalyptus are the minis that go with wow. it. Wow. That's going to be so beautiful. These are for sale right now. Um, we also did a Jack Frost. I love the soft speckles. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, in Cape Cod Blue, Midnight, Sky High, Slate Blue, and Phantom. Ooh, that's so like icy, wintry. All so of pretty. these sets are available on Fingering and DK. That's amazing. Um, sparkle and non sparkle for the minis and non sparkle. All these skeins are non sparkle, okay. but you can add the sparkle mint minis. This one is Whoville. <gasps> Whoa. Where it's got That's aquamarine, so big apple, hottest pink, atomic, and then we put evergreen in here as well. So cute. You know I love a neon. I can't quit neons. Like, these all have such different vibes. You guys are so good. We picked three that had this is like very a different classic. palette. Yeah. This whole blue thing is so beautiful. They're all so gorgeous. I am... I'm going to add to the pattern. I meant to do it last night. I leave everything to the last minute. Some pattern suggestions or pattern ideas. That's a good idea. Because sometimes people think, well, what am I going to knit with that? Right. So. Yeah. Tis the season for mini patterns. There's lots of, like, has everybody checked out Helen Stewart's Knit Vent? Some patterns have come out already. Right. Um, there's lots of great mini skin. But there's also just shawls that are multicolor. You can kind of, there's no limit to what you can do with these things. This is so pretty. Cute. So evergreen is in this one too. Evergreen's so in two cute. of them. Otherwise, no color. That's the only color um, double in this set. Adorable. Otherwise, they're 14 mini colors. If you get them all, you only get one double. Adorable. Boy, you know, hot flashes, that's such an energy shift in your body. I know. Like the whole thing that happens in your body. Like menopause. So, so uncomfortable. Anyway. I get more at night than during the day, but. Well, I think prop, brutal. the caffeine probably didn't help. Maybe. Maybe. Some days it's an issue. Some days it's not. Right. right? And I don't know why I get them at 9 p.m. then. Because I'm certainly not. Oh, maybe it's Diet Coke. Yes. Oops. I um, I did want to show you guys this. This is the last thing I promise. This is from. Who is it from? Where did I order it from? The UK yarn shop. That had this. I don't remember. A yarn story? No. Who's who's? I don't remember. We put it in our Instagram stories. I don't remember. Oh but they were gosh. doing a fundraiser with. This is a breast cancer specific. This is DK self striping by West Yorkshire Spinners, and it is for every ball sold, they donate one pound to Future Dreams Breast Cancer Charity, and it is a hundred percent British wool. 225 meters, 100 grams. Super cute. I thought it was a really nice, in conjunction with our breast cancer, mm -hmm. that this was also supporting that as well. It totally is. So if you Google, I'm so, see? Maybe so, somebody will see this and make a comment and tell us below. I don't know who that person is on there. Um... I'm just going to, in my email, do West Yorkshire Spinners, maybe look them up. Okay. Anyway, it was a really great fundraiser. It was, I did remember it being in the Instagram stories. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Well, bummer. we'll find it and we'll put it in our link, our show notes and all that stuff. Yeah. And our Instagram stories. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. Right. It was a pre-order. Let me just say that. So maybe they have some in stock. Maybe they don't. But if, if they do, we'll figure it out. Wyspinners.com. Thank you so much. Oh, oh thank Star you, Star. Found it. Of course you did. Where was it, So Star? I guess you can get it right from West Yorkshire Spinners is where's her. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Oh, yeah. we're only 99 Thank minutes in. Thank you. Right. With tons of time. 99 minutes. And... Oh, my God. It felt like... A shit show today. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, that part 
with poor Emily, I just, I'm barely, I'm not even recovered. So over the next week, we'll figure out a time that works good for her and we'll do another Instagram. Yeah. Look for that. Whatever works for them works yeah. for us, right? Yeah. Thank okay. you, Adela. Um, so for a couple of things to wrap up, I just want to say how grateful we are. You know, we understand and co can um, relate to times not always being the easiest financially. And we show these things and we appreciate that not everyone is in their budget. Of course. But um, we appreciate you giving out your dollars for the breast cancer. We thought it was an amazing um, fundraiser. We also really stand behind this tin can knits. And listen, telling a friend is support. Absolutely it is. It Sharing it. Yeah. Um, just saying, you know, and the, and the app itself is free. You can use free. the app. You don't have to send a monetary um, way to support. There's so many more ways to support. Downloading it, like having many, many people download this app, that is a huge deal. And that means a lot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're able to support, great. If you're able to just tell your friends, that is equally great. Yeah. Um, so just because we keep saying, like, donate, donate, let that... I want, we want to just make sure you understand a hundred percent. That's not the only way we can support. And we understand a hundred percent that it's not in everybody's budget now or in the future. Right. Yeah. 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 And some people think, Oh, you know, I missed it. Like I missed the chance to get a strange brew class. That's part of the reason we were telling you now, because this weekend, you know, if that's something you're interested in, it's still available. So there's um, value to your donation. Oh, there's totally huge, right so totally yeah. so, i mean i i really do believe that this is something that's gonna resonate with a lot of people and i feel like we're gonna see all kinds of fun things happening the app as it is right now is amazing and i think a lot of us are going to use the heck out of it yeah, so i agree yeah thanks for mentioning that because that is always our intention it's, we're just spreading the news we are not saying you need to do this so obviously many ever th ever we understand in the in the northern hemisphere that things ramp up for us come the cooler weather so it feels like sometimes it's all being like yarn yarn buy this donate whatever yeah. but um ah so adela is, has something coming oh. that she's supporting tin can knits with and the kits that we were talking about today, okay. she is making part of that a donation to the Tin Can Knits okay. fundraiser. Well, that's awesome, too. So I guess we're going to see more than one way to support these things. That's yeah. incredible. That is incredible. We love um, it. And I guess we just want to say thank you always for hanging out with us, for supporting things that we get passionate about. I mean, that's a lot. I know that's a lot. Did we say who we were? But we... No. It's too late. No. It's that, let's boat, not, that ship has sailed. Let's not put our name on today. Oh, That's oh my funny. goodness. Anyway, um, we just love hanging out with you guys. We are still so passionate about this community and knitting and fiber. And it just seems like the world is getting smaller with things like YouTube. You can be familiar with people halfway around the world mm -hmm. and see what they're up to. And um, things like knitting apps that can be accessed all over the world. I mean, it, it's it's really cool, and it kind of changes the game. For... We just get really excited about these things that are, like, keeping us motivated. Like, this app is going to propel us forward with knitting patterns. Yeah, we... in addition to, there's already some apps, right? Like, we can love them all. Yes. We can love them all. Uh, yes. Tin Can Knits right now is just saying we, we're dreaming big, we're trying to develop this thing, and we're letting you know. We're, cup, we're along for the ride, guys. Yeah. We're along for the ride. Yeah. Adela and Star, we treasure you. Thank you for being here. So much time. Oh, my God. I wish I could hug you guys. I know. It's just. We love you. Too, too long. BJ, we visits. love you. BJ, okay. of course. I will see you in Portland. <laughs> bye. No, we won't. No, we won't. But bye. I wish. Bye-bye. Are wish. you ready to say goodbye? Goodbye. Okay. Mwah. Love you guys. <laughs>